Britain with Terra Software. I'm in Tennessee today with Robert Marbury of Tennessee Tractor. Hi Robert, how are you doing? I'm good, Gwen. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> this is a job site here. Where where are we exactly? Uh, Atwood, Tennessee. Okay. So, uh, they've actually got a <clears throat> extending uh, a road, Highway 79, to about four mile stretch here. They're extending. So, and and I see all the dirt moving going on. Are these uh, Tennessee tractors equipment? Yes. Nice. Yep. yep. We've got uh, we've got one guy running with us, um, and then two of them are our sets of tractors with hands. Mm -hmm. So, did you design the projects in Terra Design? No, they designed it, uh, but we were able to import it as a DXF um, and and then create a control file out of it. For an in cab with terracotta? Correct. Yep. Cool. And when we did, uh, it was actually off a little bit from, I guess. Conversion. Conversion, the, yeah. Okay. So, so we had to kind of tweak it and figure it out. Okay. You know, how to adjust it. And it was pretty easy. Nice. Okay, good. Good. And how big a project is this? I mean, how, how long of a highway? Yeah, so, about four miles. Four and, miles. And it's, you know, we weren't sure at first. Would, Terra even actually be able to handle uh, that big of a file, but we've not had any issues. Mm -hmm. How long will it take you to complete the project? Well, it's actually we'll probably nine months. Oh, wow. Yep. From start to finish. Yep. And it's a two-year project, so we'll, we'll work on it some this year and then some next summer. How much dirt total will you be moving? Um, our part, probably somewhere around 900,000 yards. <laughs> That's amazing. Cool. So, Robert, you guys have been a dealer for a long time. How long have you been a Terra dealer? Ten years. Awesome. Yep. So, what has your experience been with uh, Terra these ten years? Uh, well, you know, really we started with uh, customers and then um, kind of saw a need for um, actually doing the service work. So we stepped into that and that's kind of grown over time and we've done anything from lar you know, large projects for fur irrigation all the way to just smoothing up potholes for you know, fields that have pivots on it. Um, and Terra's been amazing for us because in West Tennessee we don't have, you know, every farmer has maybe a thousand acres out of his 6,000 that's bottom ground that they need work on, but, but not, uh, you, you know, our, we don't have the topsoil, so we have to be careful and being able to use Terra Design to to make it as efficient uh, of a job from a topsoil perspective and uh, from a dollar per acre perspective has been it's been amazing because we can offer them different different options. Mm -hmm. um, and we've spent a lot of time with uh, some drainage and and ditching. We've got a lot of customers using it for that. Okay, it's been been nice being able to pull from Op Center and. Have you used our auto drains? Uh, yes, auto auto drains uh, has has grown into uh, an adult. It's it's a really good <laughs> feature. It, it, we have <laughs> developed it, and with your help and other dealers like you who use it, we have really I think optimized our auto drain feature now. Yep. And it automatically puts the drain lines where they need to be, so that then you can edit them. Yep. And now you can add a manual drain too, freehand right. to drain in if you need to. So um, you've used the auto drains. How about terracing? Do they do much terracing in this area? Yeah, there's a lot of terraces here. Uh, most of them are established. We have run, we really haven't uh, advertised that very well. Uh, we have run into a few situations where guys wanted some, you know, picked up some ground and needed some terraces. And we went in and were able to do it with the Wolverine Ditcher. And in a fraction of the time they would have with a dozer. Uh, so it actually worked really well. We mm -hmm. we just haven't gone after that business. Right. So you have uh, then used in Terra the ditching tools, the terracing tools, uh, full field landforming. Yep. Also, mm -hmm. do you usually use the multi fit design? Uh, to follow the natural terrain. A lot of times we'll use the multi fit to get um, you know the in sometimes the the surface or the smoothing tool uh, will won't work 
you know, we're trying to get the water to move a certain direction. So we'll use the, the multi-fit to kind of get it steered in the right direction and then kind of smooth it in after that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So you find the smoothing tool to work here in these hilly areas? Yep. yep. That would be good, right? Because it just takes out the bumps and ridges yes, and just smooths the surface for you. Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, do you also use any of the elevation data stored in the John Deere Operations Center? Y yes, we do. Uh, it's It's been nice to actually push some of the projects we've done data back to the op center for customers so they can go back and see where the cuts and fields were. We've actually given uh, prescription maps for chicken litter and den trash back to to the farmer so they, they know where to go hit those cut spots with the with uh, that material. Mm -hmm. So it's it's been been nice. Good. It sounds like you've maxed out all of our tools. Awesome. <laughs> well thank you so much for being a Terra dealer and you have excellent service and support. We really appreciate you. Yes ma'am. Absolutely. Thank you, Terra.